Okay. The perspective of the showiness of education changes a little bit depending. I think most of what we've talked about so far is aimed towards a parent who probably mm-hmm. feels as though they are a spectator, but they're but they're the family out in the crowd, right? Right. The camera always pans over and they all stand up and yell and everything. They're 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 cheering, but the contestant is the student. And I don't think education's healthy if the student only feels like it's a game. Good. They they need they need to feel that there's worth to this. But I think that if they if they don't like the fact that there's a game like feel to it, that's also going to cause frustration with school because it because it is, because there are rules. There are there's a process here. And a lot of hopefully what you learn in school, skill wise, art wise, is going to stick with you the rest of your life. But some of the things, you know, learning how to take Cornell type notes or how to how to work your way through a multiple choice question or something like that are are skills that are directly related towards formal schooling. Mm-hmm. And I think sometimes kids and sometimes the school itself, the game show itself emphasizes that aspect to the point where the kid feels like I'm I'm trapped in a game show and and starts to feel like the poem we read that right. that, that it's that is fake. This is right. Rude. All of these rules are arbitrary. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And and so I think that as you said earlier, part of this discussion is aimed at the game show host, the teacher. Mm. who has to okay. keep the game going, right? Yeah. He's got he's ex, he's got expectations on him from the parents, from his administrator, and even from right. the student. Every teacher has gone through the experience of having to try and teach students how to play the game within his context. And you go right next door from my English class to the science lab, the game changes. It's not the yeah. same exact, and it can't be the same thing. And, no. and, and so the game show host is the guy that's uh, trying to relate. And I, and I know the, the problem with our metaphor is that we, we emphasize when we watch a game show, we know Pat, Pat Sajak isn't that interested in who the contestants are, <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> but he's asking them a few questions. He's trying to relate to them. He's trying to personalize it. He's trying to put them at ease. He's trying to get them familiar enough with the surroundings that they can play the game. And I think that Mm -hmm. that's a worthwhile part of the metaphor that a lot of what the game show host, the teacher's job is to, 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 to set up a safe place to learn with clear expectations, rules, um, to have it mapped out enough that the, that the student isn't just sitting there, the contestant as it were, isn't just, uh, standing there, not sure when to mash his button or not sure when to say something uh, because the game show host hasn't led them like he ought to. Yeah. Okay, dude. So w- one thing that I love about metaphors is the ambiguity of them or just the, uh, you know, manifold sort of interpretations that necessarily come out of them because you saying that the teacher is the host was I like, I hadn't even considered that Um, for me. Like when I was thinking through that, uh, this metaphor, I was more focused on the contestant. Well, no, actually that like either the college entrance um, reps, right? Like admissions counselors or um, potential employers uh, if host. you're not going the college route, no, them, them as the, um, as the, like, well, sort of as the host, but, but actually like that sort of group as the consumers of the show, like as the audience. Right. And so then the, I guess that would leave the students still as the contestants. Right. But the, uh, host would be something more like, um, oh, I don't know, 
in some respects the school, I guess, but actually it's more like um, admissions guides or just people who are kind of like the talking heads of, of education. Like, like college board or something. The people <laughs> yeah, like college setting board, up the, the tests and or like back porch education podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if, if only we had that power. 